Greetings. I'd like to spend a few minutes going over a few items on your case study number one for the uh, policy analysis course. Basically, the assignment is to please conduct a comparative analysis of two criminal justice policies that address the same problem and critically assess the similarities and differences. I did want to mention a few um, things before I get into greater detail about some of the areas that you uh, might cover, and that is first, please make sure that you select a criminal justice related topic. Second, um, you do not need to address all of the areas listed on the case study one uh, sheet that um, uh, you should go ahead and determine what areas are relevant and important for your comparative analysis and then focus on those uh, specifically and um, that should lead to a more uh, coherent and organized uh, case study rather than one that just has small um, sections just kind of uh, stitched together. So, so I highly recommend selecting really what is relevant regarding your um, policy uh, analysis. Third, I would mention the papers usually, the case studies usually range from about four to six pages, but the real important thing is the content. Um, if you have um, additional information, you want to attach tables, charts, um, ad additional definitions, something of that sort, you can always put that as in an appendix, and that would not count as the uh, main text, but it would be uh, material that we can reference for further information. Fourth, please uh, check out some of the examples that um, I have posted, and also you'll see a lot of examples in your policy uh, textbook, your edited policy textbook. Uh, you'll see uh, different approaches uh, to the same problem, whether it's substance abuse, family violence, uh, sex offenders, juvenile justice, and so forth. And then finally, um, if you'd like, uh, you always are welcome to email me your I ideas for the case study, or um, if you have any questions, please uh, email uh, those to me, and I'll be glad to provide some um, comments and, 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 and feedback. So here are some of the um, areas that you might consider addressing. Uh, again, not all of these, but ones that you think are relevant to put together uh, a coherent case study. First, um, I'll start out with definition of the problem. Um, you know, and usually you want to make sure we know what uh, the problem uh, policy area uh, is and, and how it's defined. And, and so, again, I think we're going to see that uh, it may be more beneficial to you to be more specific in your area. Instead of, for example, drug abuse, you might focus on a specific uh, drug such as heroin. How is the problem measured? Please discuss how the problem is measured in regards to um, reliable and valid uh, data uh, gathering techniques and how we know uh, that it actually is a problem. In other words, what evidence e exists? What is the history of, of the problem? What previous research and policies have addressed um, the uh, problem and, and have there been um, successes and failures with those those policies, for example. And, um, and so here you're beginning to think about what has been done before, and you kind of ask the question here, why the change now? Uh, the assumption is that conditions have changed or what we've been doing hasn't worked. A description of the policy or the policy analysis methods and recommendations uh, probably will be integrated within uh, your discussion. And, and you might want to discuss the theory behind the policy and um, there usually will be a theory, and it may not be apparent at first glance. And, and so you have to kind of look at the assumptions of the policy and how that relates to uh, different uh, types of theories. Also, you might want to mention, again, I think I mentioned this earlier, the um, supporting research for a particular policy. 
and then the conditions favorable or unfavorable for the policy adoption and the roles of the stakeholders, public opinion and experts and politicians, all these different groups that compete for um, control over what is defined as a problem and how we address that in terms of policy. So, um, you know, for example, I may have some great ideas, at least I think so, on how to reduce uh, some specific crimes. Uh, unfortunately, the public and politicians may not uh, agree with me. And, and so my ideas remain, um, you know, uh, basically uh, hidden from view or not used or discounted. Also, the possible unintended consequences and conflicts that that can occur uh, that, um, you know, the example I like to use is that, you know, with the um, new uh, prescription drug registration we've seen in the last uh, few years, um, you know, was that a good idea? Was it helpful? Did it decrease uh, uh, drug abuse? Did it increase possibly lead to some increases? Some argue that we've seen an increase in in heroin because uh of the problems with prescription pain pills earlier on. So, so, so I'm saying that's what some argue, but, you know, is that supported or not? And, and who argues that? And, and, and so you get into this whole, you know, uh, system analysis of, of, of the problem. Uh, the feasibility of the policy, can, can it actually be implemented? Um, usually during any election year, you hear a lot of discussion about different policies, and um, one of the things we might ask, uh, is it, um, you know, feasible? Is it something that could actually be done or is it, you know, basically uh, uh, belong more in the fantasy world of uh, policy? Also, uh, have there been previous crit critiques of, um, uh, of, of the policies? And um, is the are the policies consistent with legal, moral, and ethical principles? That that may um, uh, be part of an issue that that comes into play. And then the um, uh, cer certainly that seems to be the case with um, uh, the um, decriminalization or the medical use of of, of marijuana. Uh, currently, there seems to be a lot of um, uh, inconsistencies between state, federal laws, and 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 everything else that seems to be going on uh, re regarding this uh, case. Uh, the in intensity of change, is it a major change, a minor change? Uh, that that may um, uh, be very relevant as, as well. It may be a lot easier to make small change rather than very large change. And, and then finally, does the, uh, do the policies fit with other related policies? that have been uh, demonstrated to, to be uh, successful, or for that matter, ones that have failed. So, so really what you're doing is you're comparing and contrasting the, um, you know, two, two policies to address the same problem. So here you kind of get into the policy arena firsthand and see how the debates materialize and how they can play out and, and some of the uh, problems and, and issues and, um, and, and situations, bringing in all those other factors that um, uh, we have to address, uh, such as previous research, um, uh, looking at politicians and stakeholders, uh, competing definitions of, of the problem, measurement issues with um, uh, the, the policy problem, and, and, and so forth. So, so hopefully that just get, kind of gives you an idea, and, and also the examples uh, uh, hopefully it will be uh, helpful as, as well. Uh, but again, I, I, I think it's important to remember that you may want to focus on a specific area and then select some of those uh, areas that, um, you know, I just uh, mentioned. Uh, it seems likely that everyone will uh, define the problem, the policy problem to start with, so at least we know what we're talking about. And then uh, after that, I think you'll get into, uh, you know, selecting areas that will make for a relevant, uh, you know, paper. So those are just some clues and ideas on how to uh, put the paper together. But in a sense, you could almost take that off and just have the assignment Please conduct a comparative analysis of two criminal justice policies that address the same problem and critically assess the similarities and differences and end it, you know, end the assignment right there. 
If you can answer those questions differently, that is certainly uh, appropriate as well. And there are obviously going to be, um, you know, items that you might want to look at that I've left off, and you certainly could in- include yours uh, and 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 not uh, address um, uh, the ones on 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 the list. So so it's simply uh, guidelines, a uh, helpful tool m- maybe to g- generate some ideas, but but it's not you must answer all all these and not any others. There may be some other things that I've um, neglected, and and if you write about those, then I'll pick those up and I'll put them on on the list for uh, next time around. Okay, uh, thank you very much.